Hello everybody, Poison Knight here. We are back at it again in Stone Shard City of Gold, and this time we're gonna be fighting the troll with the dueling maces. The gear that I was using as shown here has a lot of crit and a decent amount of dodge. Now I will admit this gear set is a bit on a late game side, but it is pretty strong for the troll fight. As for the medical items, you take your typical items for the troll fight, those being the bandages to heal bleeds, splints to stabilize wounds, healing salves to heal wounds, and vivifying essence to heal your life total. There is also the death stinger jar to stop the troll from throwing the boulder in you on the first turn. As for the undefined potions, generally most potions are good against him, but I prefer using the battle rage potion, the lucinus potion, or the stone skin potions. Just remember that each dose gives intoxication, so use it with caution. Now, as mentioned earlier, the stats here has a lot of crit and dodge, but I do have a low fumble chance and a fair amount of armor damage and penetration. Generally, it's important for maces to have a lot of crit so they can daze more often. Now, as for the skills, I took all the mace skills, a very select few amount of combat mastery skills, and dual wield training from the dual wielding tree. The only important mace skill you should be really using is the armor breaker since the troll takes extra damage after you use it, the other two offensive mace skills, however, should almost be never used. Onslaught burns the troll's energy after you use it, but it's recommended not doing that since fighting the troll with energy is actually a lot easier to do than fighting him without energy. Finish off should only be really used while he is stunned so you can get an extra attack on him. Now you could also try to use it while he is dazed, so he could stay dazed to get you some extra turns to try to stun him, but keep in mind he will only swipe back while he is dazed. Other than that, using finish off off cooldown does put abilities on cooldown, so it is not recommended doing that since after you use it, the troll will swipe you back. Now, dual wielding maces have four major problems in this fight. The first being that maces can cause the troll to fumble or daze. This can mess with the cooldown rotation, and when this happens, just be aware to move accordingly. You can also inspect the troll in case you don't know what's his cooldown. Just remember that if his cooldown is at 1, it is not actually a 1 turn left and he could be using it on his next turn. Secondly, the troll's control resistance is too high, so don't expect to see yourself to land any kind of dazing or stunning or stun locks. Third being is that you're dual wielding. The troll shout will mess your turns up if you drop your weapons. The best thing you could do is to switch your weapons when you know his next turn is going to be him shouting. The troll will only shout if you're one or more tiles away from him. If you're on the troll's left side, he will use a box like Shockwave that allows you to dodge up, so you can ready yourself by swapping into no weapons so you can avoid the possible weapon dropping. Last but not least, this set has no real good way of fighting the troll. Maces in general has no dashing strike abilities, reaching abilities, or disengaging strike abilities. Without these kinds of abilities, the troll fight takes a lot longer to finish, but what you can do is go behind the troll. Going behind the troll allows a much safer fight since shockwaves becomes much easier to dodge, troll shouts punishes you significantly less since the troll needs extra turns to attack you, and he will regenerate in front of you, which can allow you to interrupt troll regeneration without having to walk up onto him. Just be aware about his shouting as it can put you in a bad spot and do not do this technique too early. You still want to try to fight him going down first before you try to get behind him because once you get behind him you're going to be fighting going up. With that being said, here's the dual wielding mace troll fight, or just a really basic troll fight.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can always leave it in the comment section below. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.